Well, I recently got a comment from a gal named Parsley, a follower of mine, and she says she's really looking forward to a fall painting. Well, I had to write back to her and tell her I'm not doing fall at the present time. I'm actually engaged in a floral painting that I'm trying to create. So anyway, I had to laugh because I told her I'm always off schedule for some reason. It can be winter and I'll be doing a summer scene and it'll be fall and I'll be doing a spring scene. So I don't know. <laughs> it's just the way I am. Anyway, let's go to the easel. This is just clear oil medium. Um, I have a blue shop towel here and what I did, I just cut it in squares, small squares, and then I just fold it in quarters and I just dip into my oil and I'm just going to add this here. Now let me tell you how I prepared this canvas while I'm filling this in. And what I did is add um, just a light gray color. I just kind of swirled that in the center. Um, next thing I did was add a little bit of burnt sienna and white. I, you see it on the left side of my uh, palette or my left side of my canvas here. I just sort of mixed that color together and put dabs on the, on the canvas. And then I just took a foam applicating brush and I just started swishing back and forth and then I finally blended it all together. And that gave me the perfect uh, tone that I wanted for something that was kind of cool and something that was kind of warm. Now before I even started this canvas I started sketching all kinds of tulips trying to figure out what kind of a tulip I wanted to make. So I was trying leaves and buds and all different kinds of flowers and then once I, had, I did pages and pages of sketches then I went to my paints and I started to paint in all the different colors that I thought I might use. Finally, after all that, I composed a sketch that I decided I really liked, and so this is the one I'm going to use. So now that my canvas is all prepared, what I want to do is start with a light background. With my large one inch brush, well that's, I shouldn't say large, it's my, saw, my small one inch brush. It's a landscape brush, but um, I'm going to go into a little Indian yellow. And not, not a whole lot, I just want to get a little bit on the tips here. And let's go up here. I don't want this too, too bright, so I'm just going to spread it very thin. And I want some of that down here, around in this area here. And just swirl it in, just blend it in. Next I want to go into a little bit of the turquoise. Now this is a super strong color, so I'm going to put it on my brush here and then I'm going to just give it a wipe and let's go in here. See now that's pretty, but if you put it on straight from here, guess what? It's going to be really strong. So just go ahead and blend this in a little bit. Blend it right into the yellow. Maybe a little bit down here. And wipe that brush off again. Just wipe it, wipe it a little bit here. And let's go into a little bit of the um, crimson, alizarin crimson. Again, a very strong color. So go ahead and get some on your brush, then wipe it off. And let's go right in here. And maybe some over here. I'm going to just darken this color a little bit on the top. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub this to any degree that you like and so it's blended just the way you want it. 
And if you don't want any color background at all, don't even worry about doing this part of it. You can just do this on a white background or a gray or any color that you like. Ooh, that's pretty. Down here, I want to go into a little blue and green. And let's just go ahead and go across here. Let's add a little brown to that because that is very bright. This is burnt sienna or dark sienna, <laughs> burnt sienna. Now these are these colors are these are the Bob Ross floral colors. So they're different than landscape. They're very thin. They're easy to work with because they blend really well. Now this I just want to blend upward. just for some tone. And you have a complete background. Want to get a little bit of white. I want to make this area right in here whiter, a lot lighter. So just go ahead and do your little crisscross strokes. Just blend that in. Maybe a little more. And maybe a little bit down here. This will probably be more reflected light. And that's probably good right there. Got a nice little glow here. That's what I want. Nice little glow. We're going to do the center flower. I just want to place it right now. So I'm going to take my small round floral brush, go into, let's see, the color is going to be crimson. So let's just go ahead and get a little bit of paint on the brush and make it about, this tulip is going to be about the size of your hands. So Let's just make a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, a dot over here. Now it'll be a little bit bigger than this, but this, is, this will give you a general idea of, of placement where the flower is. And if you want, you can just go ahead and sort of, just sort of blend this in. And center there, and we'll come around here a little bit, and then about here. So there is a general flower. And my stem is kind of facing this way a little bit, so let's just uh, maybe do with a little green and blue, just a little bit. We'll just come down here and out. And a little bit more, I want to have a, a flower coming out here, right about in here somewhere. And maybe one over here. Now this is very faint because I don't I don't want I don't want too much emphasis on this right now. I'm going to take my large floral brush. This is a three-quarter inch floral brush. It's a natural bristle. There are wonderful brushes. I'm going to dip into my clear oil medium. Let's go up here and just kind of wipe this off on a spot here. And then I want to go into some blue and green, like so. Maybe a little brown, dull it down some. And also, how about some, some of the yellow ochre? That's a kind of a nice leaf color. And we might even need just a Hair of white. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now I'm going to try and hold my brush way back all the time so that you can see what I'm actually doing. So I'm going to start down here at the bottom. I'm going to start here, and what I want to do is I want to bring this leaf up and kind of around. So we'll start maybe right in here. 
and curl. You may have to go over this twice. And that's fine, doesn't make any difference. And let's go a little more of these colors here. And a little, you're going to be, use, be using a lot of medium. Keep this really thin. Let's go on the back side here. Make this a little bit thicker. Beautiful. Take your time with these florals. You don't have to be in a hurry with this. Okay, let's dip into the medium again. This time let's go into a little more blue and green. Change the color just ever so slightly. This time let's have one going this way. A little more medium little more color. Come back in from the top and let's go down here. Nice big thick leaf. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I like it. <laughs> you can even go off the edge if you want. And let's go ahead and do another one. Lots of medium. Go into your green, maybe more brown this time. And this time let's go maybe right in here. We'll kind of cross over here. We'll go over here. Ooh, pretty. And come back down. Yes, I like that. And let's go one more. Uh, maybe a little more ochre this time. Now this one's kind of a, this is kind of a little stinker leaf. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do is go up and over and stop right there. Come back down just to fill that leaf in a bit. Get a little more paint. And where you dropped around the corner here, we're going to come around, push, and like so. There, I, I, that turned out good. I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to leave that. Okay. What I want you to do now is go into touch a medium. Go into, let's go into hmm, some cad yellow and a blend of cad yellow and, um, and ochre, those two together. And you see, I just have it on the tip of my brush here. Let's just go in here and all that's going to do is highlight that, that leaf a bit. And let's do that again. I like that color. That turned out nice. A little ochre, yellow. And let's go into this one here. Oh, those, that's nice, yeah. Okay, again, a little ochre, yellow. Go here. The highlight would be kind of on the top of that leaf. This, <clears throat> this would be more highlighted over this leaf here. And a hair more. Let's uh, probably more yellow this time. Watch this now. We're going to go over the top, right here where we started that curl. Go over the top, like so. A 
wipe that brush off. I picked up a little bit too much of the green. There. Perfect. Okay. And then one should pick up some of the blue and green. And just right under here, we're going to darken it. See, that makes it look just like it's curled. And if you want to darken any place else, which I do, I see I'd like to darken this over here. And I'd also like to darken this right in here. And maybe this right in here. Oh, that's pretty. And you know, for a last added touch, I think some turquoise would be absolutely lovely. You dip into a little medium, little turquoise. Let's just give it a little hair up here. Oh, isn't that cool? <laughs> I love it. A little more turquoise. Let's add a little bit right here. Maybe a little bit right here. All it does is just add different colors to your painting. And I think even a little crimson would be very cool. A little touch of medium. Make sure that's not too dark. And maybe right in here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. You can bring down a center line here. And I think I will reinforce that stem now with a little blue, green, and brown. Uh, just on this flower here. Bring it right down about there. So now let's switch over to the half inch floral brush. And this is the one we're going to do the flower on. And I want to start out with alizarin crimson. So I'm going to dip into my medium, put a spot here, and get some alizarin. And I want quite a bit of medium. I want this to be super thin. Let's just go ahead, how about right in here? We'll just go right here. This, this, is a, this is a generic tulip, by the way. This is not anything fancy. It's not realistic. It's just a generic. And this side over here, let's just go in probably right about here. Like so. And probably have a little bit of uh, sort of a little leaf right there. Now can you see where we're going with this? I wiped off this brush a little and I think I'm going to go into just a touch of red <clears throat> just for variety of color. I just want a little bit of red in here. I think that would be pretty. And then as long as I have this red, I want to go into a little bit of blue, a little bit of crimson, actually quite a bit of crimson. 
more crimson. I see I want kind of that lavender lavender color. Maybe uh, maybe a touch more blue. Okay. Now this is dry. I didn't dip into medium. This is very dry. So what I want to do is go down here and just put some shadow in here. I want to go into some pink and some white. And a little bit of medium. I want this to feel like it's slippery. Not real soupy thin, just slippery. And let's go in here. That's right about here. Wipe the brush off because I picked up a lot of that other color. Let's go in here. And we'll make a little streak here. Again, more medium. Go into this pink color. And let's go into the, let's do the left side first. Let's go in here. Notice I'm kind of making a little S shape. And we'll do this one more time on this corner here just to round it out. There. And I want to go in on the other side now. Thin color, so draw, dip into your medium. And let's start out here. We'll go in here and come down. Little medium, some color. Now this time, we're going to be going over to this side. Notice the little S shape that I'm making. Crossing over the center and then coming up. Yeah, that's pretty. I do think this center part should be a little darker though. Okay, now let's go into a little more white. Bring it down here. Some highlight. This will be more highlighted color. And let's go ahead and go over this one again. There. And let's try that on the other side. Dip into the medium, a little more white. And we're going to go here. A little more white. And I think just for the fun of it, let's go into Indian yellow and a touch of white. 
I just think that would be pretty for a just a variation of the color. You don't have to do this. Just something I thought would be interesting. Now this dark underneath here, that tulip usually It's very dark right in the bottom part there. So let's just go into this really dark color. We'll just darken that up. And then with the green and brown and yellow, it's a brown to dull it. And let's just go ahead and bring this up a layer. I want to grab some of this light yellow here. Notice I haven't been cleaning my brush. I'm just wiping it off a little bit in between. And let's just go right down here. There. Perfect. Dip into the medium. Some white. Touch of pink. I mean, just the slightest little bit of pink. Because now we want to make this flower really stand out. Medium, touch of white, pink. And that's probably enough. And over on this side here. So now, well, let's go over to this flower here. I may have to go over this one again because this one is actually underneath. But wipe, uh, just wipe that brush off, squeeze off the paint. This time I want to go into an orange color. And uh, let's see, with my little uh, round brush, I want to just go in and with this orange color. Let's have this one coming sort of like this. So it's kind of going this way. And because that is so dark in here, this is a lot of green, I'm going to take my wipe off tool Just scrape that off. This is called a wipeout tool. Point on one end and a, on a wedge, a, kind of a sharp edge on the other side. But it's great for when you want to remove color. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay. Now I want to go into that orange color. Lots of medium. This has to be really thin. And let's just go in here. Let's make a little doodad here.
Now this one, this is a smaller kind of a bud. It's not really open yet, but it's starting to open. It's partially open. Okay, I want to do crimson. I'm just going to just wipe the brush off. Just do that. Dry crimson, not putting any color in it, and not, no medium. And we'll just go up here. So it's dark on the bottom, maybe a little dark in through here. I love these. For some reason, these colors just spoke to me. I don't know what it was, but I just, I thought they were really interesting. This time, let's highlight with a uh, yellowish color. How about, uh, how about Indian yellow? Oh yeah, that's pretty. Indian yellow and, and just cad yellow. And let's go ahead, we'll do a little bit here here, here. Wipe the brush off. Go into a little more of these two yellows together. And this time, oh, we'll have this one. Let's do this one here. We'll have this one underneath this time. Okay, and then a little more of that color, those two colors. Let's go on the other side. And dip into the medium. We need to make this lighter. Let's go into the Indian yellow and white. This should really sparkle it. Uh, let's well, let's go in here. That's too bright right there. And that's still not standing out quite enough, so just a touch more white in here. Little medium. And you just can go over that as many times as you need to to make it as bright as you want. I think we'll just make this side right here brighter. Just be a, just a little vein starting here, and maybe one over here. The stem, we still have to do that stem. Let's just go, we'll go, we'll go over this one again, but let's just go through here like so. And 
that will work. And before I go ahead and finish that stem, I'm going to do the last flower. Now that last one, little stinker, <laughs> let's have that one go. Uh, go ahead and clean off this brush with the red, the, the, um, the small round brush. Let's make this one yellow. And so let's go into ochre. And let's have this one, how about right here? We'll just have it like, this one's maybe a uh, more of a bud. And so the stem would go like so. Maybe I won't even worry about the stem on that one, but I probably will. <laughs> okay, again with my wipeout tool. Just take off that excess paint. Okay, set that aside. Now with yellow ochre, lots of medium. And let's just go in here. Maybe he's just a little bit this way. There. And I want to do, how about some green on this one? Green and brown. This is dry. And we'll just come up here. More brown. Still a hair more brown. Can you see what I'm doing here? Okay. And I think we use, how about uh, CAD Red Light for this one? Maybe just a touch of ochre. Touch a medium. And let's just go ahead and outline this one. And a little more. And we'll have this one, this little bud here is partially closed. Well, I should be, see a lot more than partially. Let's do a little yellow here. Touch of white. More yellow. Some medium. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. Let's do right about here. Flowers take a long time. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. And I like that light yellow. And I think, let's just go ahead and lighten that some. Just, just to give some of this some highlight here.
And again, we're going to come through here. We do need a little bit of highlight right here. We'll just let that one fade off there. And also it needs a little bit of darkness. With this very dark color here, put a little bit of darkness right there. And probably Go ahead at this point and make any changes in your painting that you like. Um, as you can see, I've gone ahead and I made a couple of little changes, and I also added some grasses down here. Now, you don't need to eat, add grasses if you don't want. That's just an individual thing. But here, I thought it'd be fun to have a dew drop, and so I'm using my wildlife brush, my Bob Ross wildlife brush, and I'm going to dip into a little medium. And um, let's go in, let's see, how about blue-green? Just add this here. And let's go ahead and let's put this dewdrop right in here. So we'll just kind of make that dewdrop shape. This is a, just a, a little darker green than the, than the leaf color. That's probably good right there. Wipe that brush off. Go into a little brown. If you need, go into a little medium. And let's just go right above this little droplet here and just sort of make a little outline in the brown color. Wipe that brush off, dip into the medium again, and this time a little bit of white. And we're going to come underneath this little droplet here and fill in with some white and sort of blend it upwards a little bit. Wipe that brush off and just keep on blending a little bit more. Okay, oh, that look, that's looking very good. And maybe just a slight bit of blue. Whoops, too much. It won't take much at all. This is blue, a little bit reflective of the sky color. And just sort of dab that in. Wipe that brush off as needed. Just kind of a nice sky blue color up there. Nice, okay. And then go into your brown again. A little bit of medium, thin it out some. Come underneath here. This is shadow. It'll be shadow underneath this droplet here. Can't, I can't see that. I've got so much glare. I don't think it's quite showing up enough. Let's just get a little more brown. There, I think, yeah, that did it. Okay, and then with white, get a nice little daub of white. Come up above here. Get another little daub of white. Come underneath, above the brown, and into this lower part of this, this little drop here. And just highlight that. I want a little bit more of a crisp 
there. Just like that. Here is an example of another painting you might like to try. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time. Bye-bye.